welcome back to our Happy Quadrilla class. Today is the last class of our advanced coding lessons. And for the last challenge, we have master level challenge number 43. So without further ado, let's roll. Here's our build. Doesn't it look cool? Now, I'm very excited that today, for the first time together, we're using our ladder, the purple base, and the smaller rail. However, I hope that you are already familiar with them since we had them in the earlier challenges. Now, let's get into the analysis. Before we launch the marbles, we should take a close look at the challenge card to figure out the challenge rules. From the challenge card, there is just one green marble on the left group, but two marbles, green and blue, on the left exit. Let's take a look at the right group. Here we have two red and two blue marbles, while at the marble collector, here in the exit, it only shows one blue marble and two red ones. In this case, it's obvious that the root of one of the blue marbles must be changed. Now, do you remember which blocks can change the marble journey? Think about it. Yes, it's the seesaw blocks. Well done! You're really getting familiar with the quadrilla set. Now, we can confirm that one of the secret blocks must be a seesaw block, blue or red. See, it is more efficient and time-saving if we analyze the rules first. That helps us develop a good awareness of the rules. First, let's start with the marbles on the right launcher. Let's launch the red marble to see how it goes. Oh, the red marble runs out of the ladder and hits the secret block in the middle. But afterwards, we can see that if the secret block contains a straight path, the red marble will directly fall out of the turquoise block. In this way, we can absolutely rule out those blocks with a straight path. So the orange block, the natural block can be excluded. And don't forget the blue seesaw block. When the one is positioned higher, marble can roll out from top to bottom. So we should exclude that too. And let's imagine if the secret block only contains a rightward path. Let's try that with our yellow block. Here we put, let's use an accelerator and launch the marbles. Let's see where they go. Oops, all of them go to the right, which does not meet our needs. Then how about the leftward path? And we can see that there is another secret block on the left side. Based on our analysis at the beginning, these marbles should change their roots to different sides, which means the second secret block can be the red seesaw block. Here it is. Let's try. Put it here. And don't forget to add the accelerators on the both sides. Here it goes. According to the card requirements, the green marble should roll out of the left marble collector, so it must go to the leftward path. We had learned in previous lesson that the marbles would roll out from the upper side of the seesaw block, so let's set zero on the top. Now let's run all the marbles to the left side, and remember we should adjust the yellow block as well. Here it goes. And I'm taking the marbles, red and blue ones. Are you ready to release them all together? Let's go! And see where they are going to. Aha! As you can see, the green marble runs into the left collector successfully. And the marbles from the right group also change their roots to different sides. So it seems the red seesaw block is the right answer for the second secret block. But there are three marbles in the left collector and there are two marbles in the right collector, which does not meet our needs. Let's think. Currently, the red seesaw block divides four marbles into two sides and each side with two marbles. 
but according to the card, there is only one blue marble from right group running into the left collector. So if we want only one blue marble running into the left side, we also need to separate the marbles in the upper floor. Let's try to find out which blocks are suitable. Aha, uh -huh. which one do you think is a good fit? Think about it. Mm -hmm. Good job if you thought that it could be the red block because it has two exits on the left and the right. Meanwhile, the yellow one has only one, so we have to change its direction manually, which we cannot do when we're launching the marbles. Now, let's give a try to the red one. And remember to add an accelerator on both sides. I'm going to take the marbles. Here we have green on the left, red and the blue ones on the right. Are you ready to try with me? Let's launch them all and see how they make their way. We did it! Look, the result shows the left collector is green and blue and the right collector is red, blue, red. Mission accomplished! Congratulations everyone! Good job! All right, this was our last class of Quadrilla Advanced Coding Course. Quadrilla Coding Course is truly designed to help us develop in our logical thinking and learning methods, as well as learning and understanding the STEAM education and coding. All of our coding lessons can be found on the Quadrilla application, and you can also share your fantastic buildings on it with the Quadrilla buffs from all over the world. I truly hope everyone had fun learning together with us. Happy future rolling, guys! Bye-bye!